Now we know how air gets from the outside of the body into the body, we need to understand how it gets around the body. And this is where the most important muscle of the body comes in. And no, I'm not talking about the biceps or the abs, I'm talking about the heart. The heart is actually quite small, being only the size of your fist, and it sits here. Despite how small it is, it is an absolute workhorse of a muscle, having to beat continuously around 50 to 80 beats per minute, day in, day out, for years. Lucky it is fatigue resistant. It is made up of four chambers, two atria and two ventricles, the left and right atrium and the left and right ventricles. The atria are the receiving chambers, in other words, they receive blood from the veins, and the ventricles are the discharging chambers, so they send blood away via the arteries. And let's recap this. Arteries carry blood away from the body, A, away. Veins return blood to the heart, and that's very, very important to remember. Even though the heart is one muscle, it is essentially two pumps. The left side of the heart is considered as being one pump, and the right side of the heart being the other pump. Between the chambers are valves that stop backflow of blood and ensure that it continues to flow in the correct direction. As the heart contracts and relaxes, it pumps the blood out and around the body. The contraction phase is called the systole, and the relaxation phase is called the diastole. The systole phase is when blood gets pumped into the system, and the diastole is when the heart fills. The heart receives deoxygenated blood from the body. When the blood is deoxygenated, it means that there is little oxygen, but a lot of carbon dioxide. The heart must pump this deoxygenated blood to the lungs so that the carbon dioxide can be taken to the alveoli to be breathed out and for the fresh oxygen in the lungs to move into the blood. Once there is more oxygen in the blood, and it is now called oxygenated blood, it must be pumped back to the heart. Once the heart receives the oxygenated blood, it must pump it out to the body for it to be used. Put simply, the right side of the heart will always receive the deoxygenated blood and pump it to the lungs. The left side of the heart will always receive oxygenated blood and pump it out to the body.